Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to demonstrate the working of an accelerometer. So let's get started. First go to controleverything.com and search for MME8452Q. Click the subsequent link that follows. MME8452Q is a 3 axis accelerometer. The output data can have a resolution of either 12 bit or 8 bit. The range can be set dynamically to either plus minus 2G, plus minus 4G or plus minus 8G. Today I am going to interface MME8452Q with Raspberry Pi using Python. The Python code can be found under resources. Go to resources and under python code sample. The code can be downloaded from here as a file or it can be found on github. Go to github.com and search for control everything community. Search for MME8452Q. Click MME8452Q and under python we have our python code. First let's just see how and what kind of hardware we require for our sensor to work. For our hardware we require a raspberry pi. These are the GPIO pins of a Raspberry Pi. Next we need an I2C adapter. The purpose of using an I2C adapter is to simplify the connection between various I2C devices and Raspberry Pi. The I2C adapter is available on controleverything.com. Put the I2C adapter onto the GPIO pins and press gently. Hence the connection is completed. The other thing that we need is our sensor that is MMA8452Q. For making connection, we require connecting cables. Make sure while you make connection that the brown wire of the connecting cable is connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C adapter. To power up the Raspberry Pi, we need a micro USB cable. This is a micro USB cable. Put it into the power jack of Raspberry Pi. To provide Raspberry Pi with internet capabilities, we will require a LAN cable. This is the LAN cable. Put it into the Ethernet jack of the Raspberry Pi. If it happens so that you don't have a LAN cable, you can also use a Wi-Fi module. This is a Wi-Fi module. This is the all what we need for our project to work. Now let's see how to interface our sensor with the Raspberry Pi. To interface our sensor with Raspberry Pi, we need our Python code. Go to github.com and search for control everything community. Search for MMA8452Q. Click it and under python we have our python code. Before we jump into the code, I would like to tell you that I have imported SMBus library on Raspberry Pi. A link has been provided so as to help for the installation of the library. I recommend you to install the library first before you jump into the code. This is how our python code looks like. First, I have imported SMBus library. Here, I have imported time for some kind of delay. Now, I am creating a bus here. Now, I am writing one byte of data onto the sensor for standby mode. Here, I am writing one byte of data on the sensor for active mode. This is a standard protocol for our sensor to work. Now, I am setting the range of our sensor measurement to plus minus 2G. Here I am waiting for some time for the measurement to take place. Now I am reading 7 bytes of data from the sensor. As you have noticed the first byte that we read is status. This is read so as to ensure that the output which we receive is valid. Now as I foretold you that the resolution of the data that we receive is either 12 bit or 8 bit. For 12 bit we have the conversion here. Now here I am outputting my data onto the console of Raspberry Pi. To upload our code onto the Raspberry Pi, first copy all the code. Go to terminal. Here create a file using vi editor. Type vi and the name as that of your sensor with .py extension. Paste your code and save it. Now to run your code type python and your file name with .py extension. When I am changing the orientation of my sensor the value changes and again. 
Now that we are done with the interfacing and working of MMA8452Q, let's talk more about it. MMA8452Q is a very high accuracy accelerometer. The operating voltage range is 1.95 volt to 3.6 volt. It finds many applications like in e compass solutions, laptop tumble, free fall detection, and even in motion detection. For any query and comment, you can contact us on controlfthing.com. Make sure to post on our community page. We are happy to serve you. The sensor can be purchased from controlfthing.com. For more interesting articles and videos, follow us on our Insta tables. Make sure to like our YouTube videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. At the end, take care and thanks for watching.